Welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll explore personal topics and situations that are often more appropriate for more private environments. Since disclosing this publicly may have significant implications, we ask that you correct this immediately. We recognize the importance of privacy for us and others, so it deserves our attention. Life is something that deserves our attention, both from a strategic point of view and in relation to the cultivation of inner peace. For those who accompany us in search of lessons, stoic and also philosophical tips, know that this video will be an orientation on how to incorporate stoicism in the current context. We will share eight things that you should not expose to others and that you should change now before it is too late. The entire video will be grounded in the stoic lessons you must apply. We emphasize that the last point is the most crucial, so watch until the end and do not skip any part of the video to make sense. Before we go any further, I ask you to sign up and activate the notifications so that you don't miss any of our mental growth videos. And, as always, remember to seek to be the best version of yourself. Let's start with the first point. Point one, the battles you have faced in the past. The battles you have faced previously need not be understood by others. Trying to justify yourself to those who have also faced their own trials may seem presumptuous and perhaps even tiresome to listen to. After all, who has never been through a difficult situation in life? The truth is that a person's character is forged by experiences lived, but these experiences need not be in the public domain. It can be something you keep more private or share only with close people. It is not advisable to rely constantly on your difficulties as excuses or recurring narratives in your life. The challenging moments you have gone through have shaped your existence, contributed to your maturity, wisdom, and resilience. It is not necessary for others to directly witness your pain. It is enough for them to recognize your progress and the person you have become. Ultimately, it is more admirable someone who does not worry about constantly displaying his past, but who remains present, demonstrating skills acquired along the path traveled in life. This is more significant than someone who boasts of his past experiences, but cannot translate these experiences into concrete actions, limiting himself to a narrative of triumph. Point two, tell someone your dreams. Telling someone your dreams, especially in public, can result in unfavorable judgments because not everyone sees opportunities the same way you do. They may label their dreams as unreachable or express disbelief based on their own frustrated experiences. Some people, by not achieving their goals, tend to project their frustrations, putting others down psychologically and mentally. Therefore, it is advisable not to reveal your plans to move from point Y to point X. People are usually more interested in their own good than in the good of others. Your dreams should be something shared between you and God. Also, by sharing your dreams with someone, you may inadvertently allow that person to invade intimate details of your life once you are revealing something significant. Therefore, it is prudent to act cautiously when deciding to share your dreams. Point 3. Details of your life goals. In many cases, it is more prudent to keep the specific details of your life goals private. Most people around you already have a sense of the direction you're going, but accurately exposing every step of your journey is like giving unrestricted access to your personal phone or your private life. By doing so, you lose control of the situation, and if something goes wrong, the question may arise whether it was your mistake or if someone betrayed you. Uncertainty about the origin of a problem can be disconcerting. There are so many people who could theoretically harm you that discerning the real source of the threat can be difficult. So whether it's a curious friend or a well-meaning stranger, it's wise to hide the crucial details of your goals for your own good. Pointing out the general direction is sufficient. You don't need to disclose all the complexities of your journey. Remember that no one is your confidant. No one has their way, and you should not explain. Having this information about your journey is already more than adequate. Imagine the situation where you share every step of your journey, 
and in the end things don't go as planned. The people you told will still question and ask why. Leave those details private, reserved just for you. Point four, do not expose your innermost feelings to everyone. Practice Stoicism. The Stoics emphasize the importance of maintaining a certain reserve regarding their innermost feelings. This does not imply being emotionally inaccessible, but rather choosing with discernment the people you trust to share your deep and vulnerable emotions. Epithet, the Stoic philosopher, reminds us of the relevance of this lesson when saying, when you are offended by someone, immediately turn to yourself and examine in what affection you have accommodated him, for if your impression is correct, no one's affections are appropriate to you. Neither reason allows you to be affected. If you find that affection is not appropriate, stop being offended. If you find that affection is suitable for him, accuse yourself. Therefore, the lesson is that you must choose wisely the people with whom you share your most intimate feelings, avoiding exposing them indiscriminately to everyone. This approach not only protects your emotional privacy, but also helps ensure that your emotions are shared with those who can offer genuine support and understanding. It is a crucial principle of Stoicism that highlights the importance of emotional self-discipline and careful choice of confidences. Point 5. Social Media Avoid exposing everything we mentioned earlier on your social networks. In a world where everyone is constantly connected and seemingly happy on social media, there are always people who want to be in their shoes. So be careful with the things you put and never expose intimate aspects of your life. A valuable lesson from Stoicism regarding social media is that you shouldn't expose your deepest weaknesses or vulnerabilities indiscriminately. While sharing aspects of your life and experiences can be valuable, disclosing all your weaknesses can be detrimental to your own emotional resilience and privacy. The Stoic philosopher Seneca wrote, Life demands difficult things from us. First, accept. Secondly, bear what we accept. This quote highlights the importance of acceptance and resilience in the face of life's difficulties. So the lesson here is that when using social media, you should have insight into what you share. It is neither necessary nor appropriate to expose all of your deepest weaknesses and challenges publicly. Instead, reserve a safe and reliable space, such as private conversations with close friends or mental health professionals, to address these issues more appropriately and effectively. This helps protect your privacy and promote a more balanced approach to social media. Point six, your relationships. Avoid discussing conflicts publicly and do not share intimate details of your love life on the internet, even with people you have just met. There is no need to vent about what bothers you about the world. Conflicts should be addressed directly between you and the other person involved. Effective communication and intimacy should thrive within the relationship and not outside of it. Many people face disagreements in their relationships, but end up venting these conflicts to friends and family, turning personal issues into gossip, rather than resolving them in a discreet and private way. Therefore, it is essential to recognize that a healthy relationship depends on maintaining privacy and internal conflict resolution, rather than disclosing intimate details about the inner workings of the relationship. Point 7. Your Financial Situation Regardless of whether you are in a comfortable financial situation or dealing with debt, it is best not to disclose these details to anyone, not even people close to you. First of all, no one in your social circle is an IRS agent, so never talk about your financial situation or how much you earn. Secondly, sharing financial information may inadvertently attract negativity. If you have money, you can attract people with ulterior motives. If your finances are tight, many may look at you with contempt. Unfortunately, that's how the world works. So the wisest approach is to keep a certain mystery about your finances. Let people speculate at will about how much you earn while you remain enigmatic. This will ensure that those close to you are not worried about your financial situation. Every time someone asks how much you earn, just say that you don't like to talk about it, that you prefer to keep it private 
only for yourself. Don't even tell your best friend, because jealousy often arises from who is closest to you. If they see that you're desperate, you can jeopardize your opportunities and push people away. Showing despair in situations like job interviews, social events, or meeting friends only tends to create problems for yourself. So, be cautious when sharing information about the financial situation and keep track of what you disclose to someone or on social media. In short, maintaining serenity and trust is crucial, as this has a significant weight in social interactions. Remember that even though internally you may be uncertain, the world values appearances. The best strategy is to convey confidence, as this is how you convince people that you are in control of the situation. Avoid missing opportunities by allowing despair to manifest itself in public. Showing lack of control will only drive away what you need most. Therefore, if you are thinking about demonstrating insecurity to others, it is better to avoid such attempts and keep your posture always. Be sure to explore the opportunities to define your financial future. If you want to deepen your knowledge about stoicism and self-development, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment on what you think of the video, as this helps us take these stoic lessons to more people. I sincerely hope this message has been valuable to you. If you're not sure what to comment on, simply write, this video is relevant. Before we even finish, I wanted to congratulate you for being strong and for having watched until the end. Continue seeking to be the best version of yourself. And for that, we leave two videos for you. I'll wait there.